China Mac just got pressed in Japantown, Vietnam. So here I am in 8A Thai Vang Lung, also known as Japantown in District 1, Saigon, aka Ho Chi Minh City. So I just watched a video of China Mac. If you guys watch, he is uh, from the States and traveled all over the world, recently in Asia. He didn't know, but he walked into one of the most prohibited places in Vietnam to film. If not, probably one of the only one here that I know of. So what happened is, this is actually a place where you have restaurants, there's hotels that you can rent, as well as massage shops. But the thing that China Mac didn't know was that these massage shops offer some types of services that is not supposed to be well known to everybody. Well, not the regular tourists that is. For people who are looking for this kind of nightlife fun, they'll find this area. Now, in his defense, he said that there was no clear sign or indication that you should not film in Japantown, which is correct. I walked in here in the gate and I looked around and surely enough, there are no signs that says that you're not allowed to film, take pictures or pull out your camera. The only sign that I see is one that says this place is 24 hour surveillance, which means they have cameras on you to make sure that, you know, you are safe and secure. So why can't you film in this area? After all, it's a very pretty place, well decorated, and of course they should know that when tourists come here, they're going to want to film or take pictures. This place is well decorated with lanterns, beautiful lights, and Japanese cultures, including spa, shops, cafes, and restaurants. In fact, some of the most delicious and authentic Japanese food can be found in this alley. They're not cheap, but it's high quality and taste oishi, which is Japanese for delicious. Now, some of the reason why you cannot film in here is because these people in here sometimes are offering extra service that you're not supposed to advertise to the entire world on camera. Now, given the fact that they told him not to film, fairly enough, he's in a foreign country and multiple people told him that he should not be filming. That should be a clear indication that he should turn off the camera. So his first mistake was not turning off the camera and speaking to the people and asking him, why can I not film here? I think he'll find a clear answer. Instead, he walked across the road and found some random people and security guards for the apartment buildings and asked them, is it illegal to film here? First of all, they either don't know, they don't understand English, or even if they do know, they cannot explain to him, a YouTuber, why he should not film in here. So that's why I'm here today to explain to you guys. First of all, the culture in Vietnam is, they respect their face. They respect their reputation. So a lot of people working here, even though there's no extra service, which we don't know if there is or not, but let's say if it's just a massage service where they are dressed quite provocatively, revealing, sometimes wearing the traditional white Vietnamese dress in a way that's not very flattering to the Vietnamese culture. Actually, a lot of people look down and they crit criticize this woman pretty harshly for wearing very thin fabric looking like the traditional Vietnamese dress that students and teachers used to wear when they go to school. So they are not proud of their job and they don't want to be advertised on the internet, especially when it goes to the eyeballs of their friends, family, and maybe their relatives or neighbors that live in the hometown. So that's why they hide their faces. Now in China Max defense, these people should have came up and respectfully and quietly told him, hey, this is the reasons why you shouldn't film and please be respectful of the Vietnamese culture. But instead they were yelling at him and basically gave no explanation and one girl I think threw something at him like a piece of garbage and one woman also held up a chair, looked like she's about to hit him with a chair or something. And at this point is another thing that Chan Mac did that I don't totally agree with which means he was about to retaliate. He told the lady, don't do it, don't do it, which is fine, he stand his ground. But he was saying how if she were able to throw that chair, he would smash her face in. Now, this seemed like the easy solution is a tiny little weak girl trying to throw a chair at a big man. Of course he can take her down. But do you think that these girls out here by themselves? In fact, they are part of a big organization. They have friends, colleagues, co-workers, bosses, and even bigger oversights that they uh, report up to. So let's say if that woman did throw a chair and China Mac kind of reacted out of emotions or in the moment, uh, actually this heated little exchange can cost him his entire trip here. 
because these people are not to be messed with. Actually, the location in front of me here, somebody just a month or two ago got, you know, unalive uh, for disputing a bill. I think it was something like he went to a bar, ordered some drinks, and the bill came out and he didn't agree with the amount. So he's saying he was overcharged, which frequently happened in nightlife area. So if you're not ready to be slaughtered and empty of your wallet, then uh, maybe you should avoid the red light district or these kind of party areas. Or ask very clearly before you go in. Because even if you ask for prices, they're gonna give you the price only for the drink. So what happened is when you walk into these bars, they can ask you, you know, you wanna sit down, you wanna sit with a girl or by yourself or with friends. And they'll tell you the price for your drink and the drink of the accompanied girl if you need someone to sit and talk to you while you're drinking. But the thing that they fail to mention is that there's also something called a seating fee. Now I just came back from Tokyo, Japan, and they have the pissing alley, the golden guy, where people sit here and drink. And if, essentially, there's some bar that charge something like a sitting fee for your chair. Basically, you occupy the chair, no other customer can come in. Therefore, when you sit there, you should pay to sit in that chair. Now, from the West, you guys might think that is ridiculous, but that's how they work in Japan. And the culture, of course, was brought here to Vietnam. But the only thing is, the price here is kind of a little bit overwhelming, exaggerated, if you know what I mean. It should be around three to five dollars, but here it can go up to seven to 10 Canadian dollars. And also you have to pay a seating fee for the woman as well, not just you. So essentially your fixed cost, which is the cost before you drink anything, already went up. If you're sitting with a woman, you're paying for your seat and her seat. And then the drinks just multiply. Essentially the story is this man did not know this. He came in, I don't know what happened with his bill, but he argued and the workers there or some other people got involved and basically attacked him and the result was not to anyone's content. And uh, unfortunately that man won't be visiting any bar ever again. So it's a very sad ending, but it's something to show you guys that if China Mac has, you know, re retaliated and resort to violence, it could be a really bitter end for him too, although he is a big man and he is well connected, but you know, this is Vietnam. So one thing I wanna to mention to you guys is, if you're in a foreign country, especially here in Southeast Asia, specifically here in Vietnam, Japantown, just don't mess with the locals because you know that you know what you come with, but you don't know what they're coming with. You know, they might have backup around them they're sitting there, but there are people inside the building or sitting all around them that are protecting. It's the oversight. And you don't want to risk that danger. Especially if you're a YouTuber pulling your cameras. As a person who likes filming and traveling myself for many years, uh, I understand that feeling. You know, you want to film stuff and people shouting, yelling at you. It's not very comfortable. But when you're in a foreign country, you have to respect the local. So that's the message to China Mac. And there are services, maybe if you want to, you can get here, let's just say full service. So you're coming in for a massage, it might cost you 300 to 500 K, which is around 20 to 30 Canadian dollars. Now, let's say you want the full service, it's gonna be 2.5 million, which is 150 Canadian dollars. And for places like this, I don't advise you to go if you really want a massage because they don't massage you for the whole hour, even though you pay for it, the VIP package, you know? You get a massage, you get a shower, and then you get the whole thing. But here, you don't get the whole service because they are gonna try to rush you to the end so that, you know, they save time, uh, they get to the next customer. They don't wanna sit there and massage you for the whole 60 minutes. So if you want a legitimate massage, you're tired, you know, you wanna loosen some muscle or some joints, you know, go to a real massage place. It's gonna cost you 400K, which is like $25, it's not much. But in here, it's gonna cost you similar prices, uh, but you won't get the quality, unless you're looking for that end piece, if you know what I mean. And that's gonna cost you, like I said, about 150 Canadian dollars. So, if you want, there's different services, but this is a place that you go in, you enjoy yourself, especially during nighttime. You should not be pulling your camera. Here I am walking around during the day, it's very nice, you can take pictures. If you wanna get like a souvenir shot, and you want like to have a piece of memory from Vietnam or specifically Japantown, come here during the daytime. The earlier the better. 6, 7 a.m., there's no one around. You have the whole street to yourself. Take all the pictures you want. 
and right now it's around noon and I'm here filming and there are people working back there so I'm not filming them but if I want to I walk down there 90% of the scenery I can take a picture right now but anything around 5 6 p.m. Uh, around almost sunset going forward you shouldn't come here and film it's a place to be enjoyed and it's also a good place to actually sit down have a real drink and enjoy Japanese culture you know see how it is to talk to a girl and have a drink and chit chat with some nice music with good ambiance and some of them they have you know really special mixes and whiskey that they have that maybe you cannot find somewhere else easily and also they have really great sushi and ramen and other Japanese dishes that you can enjoy for a pretty fair price here in Vietnam typically it's going to be around 10 to 15 Canadian dollars so Chanamak do not try to film in here especially when there are girls even so he said that he has the camera on his face but still you cannot be filming you know these people get very edgy when the camera come out and although they didn't respond very well or friendly to Chanamak um, they were yelling at him and being very aggressive I don't agree with that part uh, but at the end it takes two to tango so you know somebody's got to give somebody's got to be respectful and you know put all the beef aside because we don't want it to have a tragic end like the story I told you in fact where he gone is the place right in front of me about five meter where I'm sitting so these things happen in Vietnam and in Asia guys you might not hear it but it happens so respect to culture if they say don't film maybe just don't argue you know um, put the camera down and talk to them and see what is it all about you know next time you come to Vietnam to travel enjoy yourself have some peaceful time laugh eat and enjoy the culture don't argue with the people don't get physical and especially for a little video don't put yourself in danger because now China Max is walking around but his face may be recognized and that's not a good thing you know these people are well connected and perhaps their people is all over the city so now he's going to be living here for you know two three months he don't want to have an uncomfortable time and i hope all is well for him i hope all is going to be safe and all this is going to be in the past but just for you guys in the future when you come here so that you know at night time come here eat enjoy you know have a drink and chat to some people perhaps go get a massage either it's like a simple one or a full service one but at the end of the day your camera should not be out even if it is a secret camera they'll find you it's not worth it have fun, be safe, and be merry. I'll see you guys somewhere in the world. Maybe we'll connect, have a drink, and let me know your question below, and we'll chat in the next video.